think that everything is good and we shouldn't worry about anything. We've gone extended beyond a measured move, but there's a couple of reasons why I'm a little bit nervous about Bitcoin. And the first one is, let's take a look at these Bitcoin longs. Look at that dramatic, like seriously dramatic drop in longs with no move in price. That's really nerve. That makes me really nervous, very nervous this big drop. So, you know, I'm in a kind of chat group, I have to say, I'm in a chat group with some quite good big, you know, Bitcoin players. And um, a week or so ago, everybody was asked, do you think the bottom is in is bit in Bitcoin? And almost every single one said no, they didn't think the bottom was in, in Bitcoin. So what does this mean in Bitcoin longs? Does it mean that people are switching? I really do think that there's been some profit taking and it might start to play out and so that there what we're seeing is distribution and that means that the bigger players are selling to the smaller more recent players and um and that we are lining up potentially a a bit of a reversal so let's go back to our bit for next chart here's our breakout now if we go and zoom in, are we at a level where we should see a pullback and how much of a level? At the moment, we've, we've got this really nice breakout. We had three touches. Everything's good. But it could very easily be a wider wedge like this. And if we put on our FIB retrace levels, we've gone beyond a 618. But, you know, 618 FIBs are messy levels and we could just be going sideways at it. So we could be at least, you know, so there's no kind of obvious... Uh, fib level here. Um, let's try another way that we use for targets. And if we take the extensions from this correction, then we're looking for the 2.618 or the 1.618. We don't need these. And let's see where we are. And you can see we've stopped at the 2.618 of this extension. This is a very normal for kind of wave three. So where are we going to come back to? Then we say, okay, if we, this is bullish and I, I don't want to, I'm going to leave this here because I don't want you to think we want to be neutral. Okay. We want to be open to what the chart's telling us. And as soon as you draw trend lines like this, you always think, oh, oh, this might reverse and this is resistance. So let's say if this is going to be really uh, strong and bullish, then we should only see something like a pullback between the 382 or the 50 percent and then we carry on higher so um, that would mean somewhere between 3800 and 3950 and then we should carry on higher if it's bullish now i'm going to go to a bit stamp chart um, uh, one of the other things that i think we've also done is if we measure our head and shoulders with closing prices and take these high, the most recent, this high in the middle here as our head and shoulders pattern. So if we draw it like this, okay, or like from here and then extend it a bit. And let's say this was our left shoulder, this was our head, this was the right shoulder of our continuation head and shoulders pattern. Then we'll measure the distance, the shortest distance to the neckline like this. And you can see that we also, you know, we hit our head and shoulders pattern target as well. So we can expect a pullback here and how much of a pullback we get will determine, um, you know, what, what kind of pattern we're seeing. And there is the potential that this is, you know, we're in a giant wedge pattern like this. And if we measure the legs from this first low to high here, we are at the 618 of this first swing. So remember, 4,000, 4,100 was always our first target. And so we've hit our first target. I would, um, I'm would, i actually going to tether. Um, just based on that drop in the, sh in the longs, that says to me that we might get a bit of a move. And so I'm going to tether and I'm going to wait for this pullback and rebuy it. Um, that's my plan. Um, if I was you, I would watch out for a reversal here, maybe tighten up my stop, maybe have a plan. You know, we've got, there's lots to like about Bitcoin. We could very easily just do a shallow pullback and then continue on higher. And if we do that, then I'll jump straight back in. I will jump back straight in 
on a four hour buy setup. And at the moment, we've just got starting to get red Heiken Ashes. We're starting to get the look of a double top or a little bit of a swing failure pattern here when we look at it this way. So if I wasn't already out, if I would say, if we uh, drop under these lows, I will get out, something like that. I would play it that way. So potentially we've got a bit of a pullback coming in Bitcoin. I'm just gonna go, before we go, I'm gonna just go to the bit stamp chart Let's look at regular candles on the daily on this one because, in fact, we're going to go to the weekly because remember, we've got log scale on here. I'm going to take it off for a second. So remember that we are underneath this big 786 Fib level 4328. And that's also probably where we, if we rally from here, where we would meet the weekly 20 moving average. For me, because these fibs have been like a staircase and that was the resistance before, unless we get above 4328, which we're so close to, um, I don't think the bottom is in. But if we did get above 4328, I would say that it is. So, um, you know, it would be great if we could keep going here. And the other reason why uh, I think we might have a bit of a top, remember? How if we draw this as a declining wedge and we've got our breakout like this, very often if you hit trouble from a resistance from a falling wedge like this, if you clone or make a parallel channel, so you clone the bottom rail, the, where you meet that rail is very often where you hit resistance, which is what just happened here. All we've done is just duplicated uh, look, that bottom level. So it's a parallel channel. So not saying that I'm not uh, not massively, you know, not not I'm concerned by the drop in the longs. I think we'll see a bit of a pullback. I would really like to see support at 50 percent of this last swing higher. I think at a minimum we're lining up a bit of a correction of, of a scale that we made between the 8th and the 15th of February. And that was a week of sideways. Mm -hmm. So it could be that we see a week of sideways again. That would be really bullish if we saw that in Bitcoin. We didn't have a big mm -hmm. pullback. We didn't have a big dramatic reversal and just a correction. That would be great. It would also be really good for altcoins. Okay, so last night when we looked at Bitcoin, I thought that maybe we were at a point where, you know, bouncing off the lows, that potentially, you know, we could, because the correction was equal in time to this correction down here, so we had one, two, three, four, I thought that potentially we could start a, a rally and a run at the highs. In fact, we haven't done anything overnight except stay in a really tight range, frustratingly tight range, and a double top. So the risk is when you see this that we're headed lower on our hourly CCI.